Hello YouTube, it's the poor barber. Today I'm going to teach you how to do a nice skin face with no confusion and easy steps. And I hope you enjoy the video. First thing we are going to do is use number two in the top because that's the link that he want in the top. We're gonna use guard number two and make sure that we apply number two very good on the top. That's the first step, guard number two. All the way around the crown, making sure we debulk very good. Like that, we don't have to come back to this area and waste more time. Like I always tell you, don't get lazy on me. Make sure you apply number two very good and we don't have to deal with that anymore. After we done using the number two, very good. We are gonna create the guideline all around the head. And make sure you make your guideline straight. Making the guideline straight is very necessary when it comes to fading. You don't want to make a crooked guideline because when you fade it at the end, when you fading at the end, it's going to look crooked, just like your guideline. Now that we're done doing the guideline, we're gonna use the trimmer. Like we mentioned early, this is a skin fade. So we gotta make sure this all the way to the skin. And right after this trimmer, we're gonna use the shaver. And then we can start the process of making the fade. Now that we done using the trimmer, we are gonna use the shaver. I already mentioned that. So we doing a skin fade, make sure it's like smooth, no hair at all. Now that we finished using the shaver, we are gonna use our guard number 316 four point millimeter all the way around the crown. And every step that you do and every time you're changing guard, make sure you look at the mirror. Like that you can see the progress. And you can stay behind of what you're doing. It's very important to look at the mirror while you're fading. Very important. Now that we're done using the 316, we're gonna use number one open. And while we're using number one open, 
right after this, we could close number one and hit the guideline right away. Just make sure you use it real good open before you close it. Because from now on, we're gonna get focused just in the guideline and trying to make a match with the scheme. We're gonna close it right here, hit it right on the guideline. Keep hitting on the guideline to you know, to you can debug the most. Cause right after this guard, we're gonna use 1.5 millimeter. And that's what the magic start happening when we start using the 1.1. And pretty much this feel like painting to me because I'm trying to blend to the skin now. Now I'm using 1.5 open. You see that I'm just hitting it right on low. I'm not going that high. I don't need to go that high anymore. Except the back. In the back, you always have to go up a little bit more in the front. But other than that, you don't have to go that high. And so you see, it's the blend is already getting there. Now we can just half away close, hit the guideline. And it's pretty much done using gar after this after we done cleaning up with 1.5 it's we don't need no guard after this pretty much just make sure you clean very good with this gar like that the next step is just super easy Now I got my machine with no guard. Like I said, I'm focused on the guideline. It's 0.5 open. You see that I'm hitting the guideline right, right there. Making sure the blank connect. And I'm gonna keep hitting low. I'm not, I don't have to go high anymore like that. Unless I see something that need to be clean. And I'm still using the 0.5 no guard open right now. Remember guys, 0.5 open. Now I'm going to close the half and hit right on the guideline again. Because I just closed the half. So I'm going to cut a little bit more hair. And remember in the back you have to go a little bit more high that in the front and this technique you can put the fade where you want to make sure you clean really good like that we don't have to come back here and waste more time it's time is money And this fade is pretty much done. Like I said, in the back, you have to hit a little high. And always stretch the skin too, that's a good tip. You don't see nothing there, everything is just perfect. And now I'm hitting close pretty much. 1.5 close just to give the last touch right there. And this blend is done, guys. We did this with only one guideline, not three, not four, just one. 
I guess I have to do a little cleanup up here with the 1.5. And I think I'm pretty much done. Yeah, look at the mirror, like I just did there. And that's it. Now I'm just giving some love. The fade is done, pretty much. I'm just giving some extra love, making sure everything is near perfect, because nothing is perfect. I'm using the 1.5 close here and I'm opening a little bit sometimes but that's just me being super picky but always add a little bit of extra time when you're done doing the whole work and remember we was using the trimmer at the beginning that's how we always close the face with a little trim. You grab your trimmer and you flick it and be careful because you don't want to make another line. And that's it. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you like it. I hope you learn something and show the brothers on love. I haven't seen no likes or no subscribers, guys. I hope you have a wonderful week and... Tell somebody that you love them, man. God bless you.